I just, oh, I busted my lip. Okay. My eyebrows aren't very good and everything, but I'm going to do a makeup video because people, a couple of people have asked and, um, like, I think I mentioned talking to Ashley and being like, I don't even know what I would say because I don't wear much makeup. And she was like, well, duh, say that. And I was like, <laughs> thank you, Ashley. Okay. Um, this is not going to be a habitual thing. This is not going to be, like, what this channel becomes about. <laughs> I, I don't think I have enough to even say. Hey. Oh my god, Ash, I have the same plan for my drinkers. Okay, I love the fact that I actually has text now so I can text her. Okay, anyway, so so she was like, this is not this is not what this video is gonna be like this channel is gonna become about. It is, however, what this video is gonna be about. Um, and I don't know how it's gonna come out. I figure I'm putting it up no matter what. Because I am. But so I guess if I'm gonna talk about makeup, I'm gonna talk about the fact that I don't put a whole lot on. And so I'm gonna walk you through what I do do. My face is freshly washed. Um I use what's that stuff called? St. Ives Apricot Scrub, and um, I don't use that every day, but I use it several times a week. And I also am using the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Witch Hazel Oil Controlling Towelettes with a touch of aloe, um, and it's like an astringent and it's an oil controller and I just started using them about a week ago. I'm happy so far but that doesn't mean I'll continue to do it. Um, I'm just wiping down the face. I don't know if it's my extremely religious cult upbringing like or what but I don't feel clean unless I have scrubbed the skin off and I am burning so these things make me happy because on freshly exfoliated face they kind of slightly sting all right neck sure let's just extra clean I like I really like I'm telling you I don't know if it's so anyway the biggest thing is to let everything dry between so since I'm probably gonna do a lot of clipping this video um, Isn't it? I'm probably going to do a lot of clipping this video because there's going to be a lot of between time, like right now, while we're drying. So I'm going to brush my hair out. And no, I have not brushed my hair out yet. Um, because it, it's already brushed because I brush it out before I wash it. And then I wash it and I brush it out in the shower. So <laughs> when I get out the shower, it's pretty much done. I just have to like run the brush through and it's done um yeah so and because of that whole like losing horrible amounts of hair last year I like double and triple check the brush I am growing my hair back but it's a lot thinner than it was and let me just talk to you guys about that um so what I use is when and I love what it does for my hair as far as because I like to dye my hair and stuff I love what the wind does but because I have thin hair and there is um a certain blend that's for thin hair so I um plan on getting that one right now I just have the one like the um, sweet almond mint one and I love it but like every four or five mm -hmm. um, washes I use a clarifying shampoo because it does tend to build up a little bit um, I'm pretty sufficiently dry now, so I'm going to use the Clean and Clear um, Finishes Mattifying Moisturizer. Okay, when you exfoliate the way I do and you use astringents the way I do, you have to have a moisturizer. I like this one because I don't use a base or a powder, so this one kind of works as my base and my powder 
Um, it gives you a nice matte finish. And I like that because as much as I like, I don't mind glitter, but I can't stand like sparkly stuff over your entire face because I think it looks oily. And that's just me. Like I see people with the look and I love it. But on me, it just seems like it's too much and like, all right. Now my sister has yelled at me before about, um, I think it was my sister, might have been my cousin about the way I rub my face and like how you're supposed to pat and all that other stuff. I Look, I mean, I'm not saying it's not true. What I'm saying is that that's not how I do it because this just seems ridiculous. I do do my eye, my eye, um, lids because I'm going to put makeup there. And so it's nice to have some sort of base to start on. I don't know if you're supposed to. None of this is necessarily advice. It's just because you asked. So I'm showing you what I do. I should probably have a reflective surface right here so that I can double check this and not be relying solely on the camera. But All right, I'm gonna do this, this look, look, I am not going to have um, lipstick on. I'm going to have like a lip gloss. So I'm not too worried about my lips and priming my lips and getting them ready. Now, next look, because I'm going to do the one with the lipstick on the day when I wear lipstick. Oh look, extra. Um, that one, I'm going to go into how I get my lips ready, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's kind of the same. Okay, so I don't know. So I'm going to continue. That's it, that's for the face, I'm done now. Um, there is actually um, a benefit product I usually use, but I'm out, so I'm not. Now, the eyes. I'm not like really good at this. I'm gonna do this and I don't know how well it's gonna work. I love this palette because, is it called a palette? I think so, a bunch of colors because it is um, a bunch of colors all in one and I used to have them all separately. Like, all right, this is a Wet n Wild. And I don't know if you can see that pink. Maybe I need to open it. Like that, does that help? I don't know, and I see you guys do it. That pink color um, is basically the same as these two. It's like this base color but with the shimmer in it. So I like this and then I would use a gray from another set and a black from another set and now I have it all in one and this is a limited edition project runway from L'Oreal and I love it. It's called Charming Cockatoo's Gaze. I guess you look like a charming cockatoo but anyway. So I'm going to use now, because I'm not very good at makeup, but I am pretty good at coloring in, I envision, like, lines. So, like, this, from that little kind of upturn to where my eyebrow should end, right there, is where I'm about to put the lid color, because I'm going to use the lid color to cheat. Okay, so I'm going to just put it on and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna use the lid color to cheat I don't know if it's mm -hmm. how you're supposed to do it but it's how I'm doing it see that see how I kind of made a line there okay and then I kind of lay this down all over just so that there is like a place for me to look and and a blending surface like okay now I know where I'm putting these things so there's my blending surface. Um, okay. So now I'm going to use the sparkly stuff, which is going to be the eventual color of this. Put it up here. This is getting weird because I can't see the sparkle in this light. Okay. I don't know. 
I'm going to have to ask Ashley how the hell she does these things. Like, what is she using? She cannot possibly be looking. See, because, like, this is looking weird to me. But this one is, I don't know. I'm going to be wonk at the end of this. Because I have, like, the colors I'm going to blend with. I'm going to add right here in the crease. And then on the outer lid and following up. That line that I cheated with, I'm going to put in the gray. This is crazy looking. I have no idea. This is what I do, guys, but I mean, I'm not usually looking in the camera. See how different it looks? I don't know what the fuck is going on. We're gonna go look again. See, it looks totally different when I'm looking on the camera in here. I mean, in the mirror in here. Now I'm going to use my shimmery pink to go over that and make sure it's like just really faint and very blended. There we go. Alright. So I still use... Is that... I don't even know. L'Oreal Double Extend um, Mascara. I love it. So I'm just going to like put on the mascara. My eyelashes are really sticking together. I have no idea why. So I'm just going to try to get that in there. On the top ones, I make a big deal out of like trying to get the whole eyelash line and getting individual. On the bottom, I just go like this. Get it in there and then pull this way. Ta-da. Okay. Oh, and here's my other thing. I always reference the 90s. I grew up in the 90s. Like, I think it's also because, I mean, I was 10 in 1999. So, like, you know, my teen years were in the 90s. But, also, it's like when we really emerged from the cult. And, like, I started to be able to watch TV and listen to music and all that kind of stuff was, you know, in the 90s. And then I got to high school and broke the mold for my mom. Started dropping the fuck bomb in middle school, got suspended, all that kind of trash. It was definitely one of those, like, once they get out from under you, kind of, we're free, type of deals. You know, all of a sudden the world was just too much because I wasn't raised with it. Uh-oh, if I touch that, I just wipe it off. All right, let me go check this shit in the mirror. No idea how this crap is gonna turn out. I have no idea. All right. Um. So I'm done with my eyes now. That's that's it. And it's far from perfect, but it's what I do. 
And then I get on here and I talk and you guys are so sweet. So it's like, all right, must have done something right. See? Like, oh. All right. This is Sally Hansen Lip Inflation. I don't know. It doesn't really pump your lips up, but I really like the, like, glossiness of it. But it's really thick. So I generally don't use too, too much of it. Maybe it would pump my lips up if I used more of it. I don't know. I kind of feel like my lips are okay. I don't need to pump them too much. I just like the, um... But see the glossiness of it? It really like shines. Like, yes, my lips are so wet. Okay. Um, and then I brush my eyebrows so that their color stands out more. See that? Because of all the crap I put on my face, my eyebrows were a little dull. So there you go. That is the barely any makeup there makeup tutorial. I got mascara underneath my eye. Oh well, that bothers the banana more than it bothers me. She'll be like, yeah, mascara under your eye. Okay, where you go? Not much to it. God, my hair needs to grow back faster. Look, it's like all these little like teeny pieces, teeny pieces of hair. Okay, I'm gonna go text Ashley back and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, that didn't suck too bad, but we learned. See, so with the look that actually has more bright color, we'll have a mirror here and it'll be better. We'll be growing together. Oh, look, I may be cute, but I have mad ninja skills because I am a map reading fucking ninja. Yep. So I just never realized that, like, I started to tell you guys something about mascara and I, started, and I got off, like, on a, like, why I'm all about the 90s. <clears throat> tangent. What I was going to say about mascara is I, when I referenced being from the 90s, come from a time when like heroin chic was in <clears throat> and like the kind of like the day after makeup <laughs> was in and I love, adore, can't get enough of clumpy mascara. Now, it's got to be the right kind of clumpy. Too much looks like drunk spiders. No. But like just that perfect clumpy mascara. And I like this because it gives you that effect without having to wait for your mascara to get six months to a year old. So there you go. That's all I was going to say. And I went off about the cult and every fucking other thing. So there you go. And now I'm going to try to edit this bitch and get it up there onto the internet. Trying to teach him how to not be a fucking lunatic. And hopefully, he'll be able to stay. Because hopefully, the cats and he will get along if he's not a fucking crazy cat. Look at that kitty. Look at that kitty. Oh, I love this kitty. Yeah, the banana's like... We can get a dog that will love you. I'm like, no, I think the reason he loves me is because we're both crazy. We're connected in that way.